بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويلكم تو ايرا I'm Dr. Muhammad Alat, Assistant Professor for Education University. Uh, first, uh, happy Ramadan for all of you. كل عام وانتم بخير. يا رب رمضان سعيد عليكم وعلينا يا رب. ولا تنسونا طبعا من صلاح الدعاء في الايام المباركه يا رب. ربنا يتقبل يا رب. Uh, let's go ahead to our case today. Uh, our case is very, very interesting because it's very, very common. And at the same time, uh, it is easily missed. And even uh, for the juniors, for the uh, seniors, I think it is very important. I remind myself and remind you all by the importance of this uh, uh, important science in this case. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, this case uh, presented by focal neurological deficit. And once we have any case with focal neurological deficits, our algorithm will start by searching for any hematomas, either intracerebral or extra axial. Intracerebral means you search, you should search for any hematomas in the cerebral hemispheres, brain stem, cerebral hemispheres. I think we don't have any hemorrhagic insects. Uh, also, you should, you should search for any extra axial hemorrhagic collections, uh, any extra dural, subdural, subarachnoid hemorrhage. We don't have any of these. Hemorrhage insects. So uh, once we have again focal neurological deficits after excluding any hemorrhage insect, you should search for any infarctions. I think if you are more expert, you will pick up something abnormal here: hyperdense artery, right mid-cerebral artery. And uh, I think we have also here a long segment of hyperdense sign. Hyperdense sign means acute thrombosis along the right. Metricerebral artery. This is the M1 segment. And this is the insular part of the right metricerebral artery. This is the M2 segment. So we have here hyperdense metricerebral artery sign at the right side, including the M1 and M2 segment. And this is considered as a long segment. Also, if we concentrate more, you will find here some effacement of the cortical subside as compared to the contralateral side. So we have something abnormal. Even if you are more expert, you will find high potency area as compared to the left side. In these cases, if you are still in doubt of, or you are, you are suspecting cerebral infarctions, you can use stroke window. Stroke window. Stroke window is very important. Don't forget this window. Any case suspecting stroke, window width, window level, make it 40, 40. You will find the window like this. This is a stroke window, ideal stroke window. What will you see in this stroke window? First, you will confirm the right middle cerebral artery dense sign. Look for this one. It is more obvious now in the stroke window as compared to the contralateral side. Also, the insular part is very is more obvious. And we will search for the other signs for the early acute ischemic insult. If you go here, you will find this is the insulin. This is the cell feature, and this is the insulin. Look for the insulin. This is the normal density of the insulin. Look for the contralateral side. The insulin appears hypodense as compared to the contralateral side. This is called insular ribbon sign. Look for the insulin in the right side as compared to the left side. It is more obvious. Let's just concentrate in the basic ganglia. This is the lentiform nucleus. This is a codate. And this is a host I think more or less symmetrical in, in their densities. So we don't have loss of definitions of the basic ganglia. Let us concentrate more in the additional signs. We will find here this high potency area, as we discussed before, and also the mass effect, effacement of the cortical side. It is not like the contralateral side. So we have here hypertense MCA sign, insular ribbon sign, hypotense patch area of brain edema. I want also to add something. Look for this cortical cell sign. This is a gyri. This is a normal density of the gyri. Where is the density here in this gyri? It is lost. And the gray white matter interface appears also lost. So we have here a form of cytotoxic brain edema, fairly defined gray white matter, hypotense area representing cytotoxic brain edema. What are the early signs for acute ischemic insult? Acute or hyperacute, make it more specific, hyperacute ischemic insult. We have four signs, four main signs, but please I add one more sign to be five important signs. First, hyperdense middle cerebral artery sign. Second, 
insulate ribbon sign loss of definition of the basal ganglion reduced density and the last is the mass effect we have here in our case hyperdense mc sign is present and cerebral sign is present loss of definition of basal ganglia this is not present Low density, yes, it's present. Mass effect, yes, we have effacement of cortical cells. Low density can be explained by the cytotoxic edema in acute cerebral impartion. Mass effect, sometimes you should be care of this point because mass effect, sometimes it is very severe to make uh, brain herniations. Please review our case or our video for different types of brain herniations because sometimes acute middle cerebral artery infarction can lead to significant or serious brain herniations that need, that sometimes need, needs urgent decompressive craniectomy. So this one is very important and should be reported very seriously. So we have here for sure acute or hyperacute cerebral infarction along the territory of the right middle cerebral artery. It's very important to hold your phone and inform the referring physician by this case before starting reporting this case. Before start, before you start reporting this case, please inform the referring physician to save time because you can pick up the hyperacute infarction in less than six hours. It's very important. Sometimes late hyperacute between six hours and twenty-four hours, and the acute the acute portion will persist till one week. So this window before or less than six hours is a very important window. If the patient can be managed at this window, it will make a very prognostic favorable outcome. Uh, our two learning points or our two secret points also in our reports, if you want to make a highly professional report, you can measure the length of the acute thrombosis along the right middle artery. Sometimes or some papers documented that if the thrombus length less than three millimeter, it is of high favorable prognostic value. Between three and five millimeter in length, borderline more than five millimeter in length, most likely of bad prognosis. So the length of the middle cerebral artery it's very important. Lens of the thrombus inside the middle cerebral artery, one of our secrets today. The second secret point today is the volume of the infarction. If the volume of the infarction, or for example, right middle cerebral artery territory, if we are exceeding more than 70% of the volume, it is also a bad prognostic value. This one, we can measure this one by using aspects score. We will discuss this point later on in our videos, how to measure and how to calculate aspect score. So these two points are very important. I know it is not mandatory to write it in your report, but if you try to write it in your report, it will be more beneficial and more professional report. Uh, in many institutes, according to the policy of the institute, some institutes, once we have any abnormalities or any acute thrombus in the middle cerebral artery, we will proceed to do CT and geography at the same setting unless we have any contraindication to do contrast enhanced CT scan. Mm -hmm. CT and geography is very important to confirm mm -hmm. the acute thrombus or acute occlusion of the right middle cerebral artery and to be ready for any procedures like mechanical embolectomy through the endovascular procedures mm -hmm. or at least intravenous thrombolysis. We did MRI brain for the same patient. As you see here in the axial T2, you will find which shape area of a normal signal intensity with a swollen gyri. Look for the gyri here. It is markedly swollen as compared to the contralateral side and displaying high T2 signal. If we go to the diffusion with it image, you will find it is more clear to have which shape area typical for acute thrombus along the territory of the right middle cerebral artery. And it's very important to see the ADC map. Once we have high signal in the diffusion and low signal in the ADC map, so significant. Diffusion restriction indicating hyperacute cerebral infarction, hyperacute non hemorrhagic cerebral infarction along the territory of the right middle cerebral By the end of this session, we would like to emphasize some causes or the causes for acute cerebral infarction. First, thrombosis, second, embolism, third, arterial dissection. In some cases, cerebral hypoxia can lead to acute cerebral infarction. We have also different causes in pediatric age group. I would like to say thank you for all of you, and I hope you enjoy our sessions. And again, happy Ramadan for all of you. Thank you so much.